Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading and it does definitely look like a love reading. Yeah, they all do. I don't, I don't know exactly, you know, uh, particularly why, but uh, maybe I'm over here thinking about love. Maybe we have the nine of cups here. Uh, they're calling this fulfillment of wishes. And we see like, you know, kind of like the, uh, the here, this man here, the waterfall, he's smelling a, a flower. The waterfalls are beside him on both sides. And, uh, there's a treasure chest that's being opened here. Uh, it, it appears that he took that out, right. To kind of smell it. I think that's what he's doing. I'm um, wearing some old glasses here, right. <laughs> and the fulfillment of wishes here. And then the peach is below it. And the treasure chest sits on the peach, right? I think that's a peach, all right? But we start the reading. We, we always do this uh, the way we start the reading. Uh, Scorpio, I pulled this card first. And, you know, this is about transformation and death and rebirth, right? Uh, the interesting thing about Scorpio with transformation is that because that Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, right, which is excuse me, the planet of death and transformation, right? Which really means rebirth. But the kind of death they're talking about here, uh, it could be for, there could be something ending here and it could be faded. It could be um, where, you know, something just has to end because something better can take place. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's the way life is sometimes, right? And, you know, sometimes you try to get a job or something you go I really wanted that job right and then you know your friend gets a job over there this may I'm just using this analogy your friend gets a job over there and she says uh hey power and light uh you know what there's a lot of drama in the office and uh you know the benefits we thought were so great uh yeah it's you know a hundred dollars for a copay just stuff like that and you're like oh well then maybe it's it's a good thing I didn't get that job right Sometimes uh, an ending is, you know, there could be an ending like that. We have the three of pentacles, but this is really called recognition and reward. I feel like you're wondering if you're going to have this reward with somebody because here it is next to fulfillment of wishes. And when we say recognition, you know, it can talk about a few things, but I feel like it talks about an awakening in this reading. Like, somebody or you is recognizing that somebody's like a soulmate. I feel like that's what you're doing in this reading. Uh, you are mostly thinking in this reading. Yeah, Sagittarius, you put on your thinking cap, uh, because you know, your second grade teacher, uh, I think it was third grade, you know, told you to go sit in the corner, right? While the whole class, you know, partook right in, you know, the rest of the lesson or whatever. And you're sitting in the corner, uh, kind of like a little dunce, not you, Sagittarius. I'm kind of talking about, you know, uh, what the teacher was trying to accomplish. Uh, it was me. It was. <laughs> and so, you know, they didn't give you a dunce cap, but you know, they say, go sit over there and put on your thinking cap because I was talking in class. Right. And because the teacher was, a, a I don't know, she, I don't remember exactly, but some of these teachers were kind of weird. Yeah, they were. A lot of teachers are strange. A lot of teachers are real good, right? Yeah. But a lot of them, a lot of anybody, some people go to work in particular careers because that's the, that's the only thing they think they can do. Or, I mean, this is kind of like on the down low, low on the down vibration, right? Or, you know, some people go th uh, be teachers because they, they feel like they can, you know, teach people, right? And to uh, give them, show them how to learn and write and do better in their life, things like that. But some of them are, you know, uh, they just become, you know, they go, they just become, they feel like that's all they can do, kind of. So they go over there and be a teacher, right? We're getting off, uh, we're getting off subject here. But long story short, uh, Sagittarius here's a beautiful fairy and you know, her head looks like this kind of, uh, kind of flowery bathing cap. You guys remember bathing caps? <laughs> I think that, you know, the, the athletes still wear them. They really don't keep the water out of your hair. So, you know, if you're worried about your braids or your highlights, uh, you know, say la vie, right? Because the water gets in, right? And so her cap here is all these flowers and you know, her head is gleaming here right? Because her pineal gland is definitely working. And this is intuition here. 
So, you know, definitely with Scorpio, which is about intuition, you're wondering if you're going to like be rewarded and have a new beginning with somebody. I feel like you are. So let's get a few more cards, Sagittarius, while you, you know, sit in the corner and put your thinking cap on. Just kidding, right? <laughs> that used to crack me up, right? I used to go, this teacher, you know, uh, right? And so, and good teachers know that sometimes when you talk a lot, uh, you know, they will kind of just like, they'll call you out, but they'll say, what do you have to add here? And, you know, they will see that kind of, they'll try to, you know, kind of support you, right? And realize that sometimes uh, kids who are talking and off doing their own things are kind of bored and or are very smart, right? Not necessarily talking about myself, but there's a good way to kind of encourage kids to maybe not talk so much in the class and listen, right? Uh, but let's get into this uh, reading, Sagittarius, because uh, mm -hmm, you already put your thinking cap on. Let's see what else we have. We're going to get some uh, more cards here, right? Yeah, and here's the thinking cap. Really beautiful here. This is your intuition. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And when they say thinking cap, it reminds me of kind of, uh, if you guys remember, um, you know, I always kind of joke about lobotomies, which is not really a joke because they did it a lot. Yeah, the people, these people have done it a lot in the United States. You could be going, no, I thought there was, everything was beautiful, right? Uh, no, they've got a lot of stuff that they are wiping out of the books, right? Uh, but let's continue here and let's get some more cards. Let's get a few more Oracle cards here to kind of further paint the story. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius, please, for Sagittarius. Mm hmm for Sagittarius. And I have to say on somebody else, right? Maintain your childlike spirit. Okay. It's possible here that you are kind of like getting, maybe getting down a little bit. I don't feel like you're down in this reading. We're going to talk about these cards, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of a funny deck, right? But uh, we're going to talk about these tarot cards in just a minute. But, you know, this maintain your childlike spirit. Uh, here she is on the swing. And maybe you are being asked to do that, right? Maybe you were too serious about something in the past. Because it looks like you want something to work for you, but you don't know if it's uh, you're going to have a rebirth with somebody. This is how this is looking, right? Let's get a few more cards. See what we have for Sagittarius. And let's see. We have bring a gentle touch. Okay, Sagittarius. Bring a gentle touch. And next to this maintain a childlike uh, spirit, you're going to be called on to kind of be gentle with somebody or something like that, right? Yeah, kind of. And trust your intuition that... Uh, somebody could be trying to bring you a gentle touch as well. Like, like they want this to be really good and they're going to come kind, you know, it could be like that as well. But, you know, sometimes we see this as kind of a message for you to do that, right? It, it depends. Only you will know the uh, precise storyline here, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. but I feel like this could be saying too, because I feel like you're going to have your fulfillment of wishes with this person, Right. Because that's what you're doing. You're wondering, am I going to see these waterfalls? Uh, you know, am I going to have this treasure chest, right? Mm -hmm. And this reward. You could also be wondering if somebody is recognizing this as kind of like, are they seeing me as their soulmate? Are we going to have this rebirth, right? And so with that being said, uh, mm hmm Oh, uh, this, I forgot my train of thought here, but it was about this maintain your childlike spirit and the, and the, and the bring a gentle touch. Let's see what else we have mm -hmm. for Sagittarius, right? And, uh, I have to say this is probably for your person. Yeah, let's get another card for Sagittarius. And we have boundaries. Really interesting here. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at, uh, what that boundary card kind of talks about. Mm-hmm. Let's see, that is if this little tiny, if my little friend is here. Let's see what it says here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't really see it right now. No, here it is. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see what they have to say about boundaries. You see this woman, she's sitting here meditating. Yeah, she is, or praying, right? Uh, this, and she's sitting kind of, uh, yeah, she's definitely meditating here. She's got this little kind of flower kind of boundary around her, and she's kind of praying, or as I said, meditating. There's a light kind of right behind her, but it looks like it's shining over her. Let's see what they say about boundaries. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, 
magical guidance you're being taken for a ride again people do like taking advantage of you don't they the problem is that you like to please people and is and so you avoid letting them down and pander to their request you have a kind soul and would do anything for anyone it's a beautiful gesture and you generally want everybody to be happy but at what cost you might be wondering if this person here uh whoever they are if if you're gonna if if maybe uh if they're going to be crossing your boundaries or something like that, or they might take advantage of you. Let's see what else it says here. Uh, because this is always has kind of a double meaning here. Uh, okay. And then it says limits reached boundaries crossed advantage taken respect lost. Wow. Standing strong upon the earth. Uh, elder and elder is yeah, okay. Dispel to rebirth. Yeah. And this is what you're concerned about. A rebirth wrap the rope around the wood binding two words. Yes and should okay so they're telling her like you know how to perform this kind of meditation or this yeah they are uh binding two words okay releasing any obligation banishing all exploitation yeah divide and part now draw the line boundaries placed my life is mine mm -hmm. it's possible here that you want this person to possibly cross their own boundary kind of and show up for you right and kind of and have a rebirth it talked it's it, it it you know it spoke about rebirth right it did uh mm -hmm. and maybe this person has crossed your boundaries in the past because there's some type of message or there's some behavior that this this reading is kind of telling you to partake in right which is trust your intuition but maintain your childlike spirit like and bring a gentle touch don't get overly like serious or angry i feel like this this reading is saying that you are kind of uh what is it inclined to like maybe be negative about this or or not negative but prejudge this person i feel like somebody's coming to bring you a rebirth and in, in, in i feel like they've changed but you're not entirely sure if they have changed possibly and they could have crossed your boundaries and now you're like well don't, don't, don't be trying to cross my boundaries. Cause you know, uh, I'll put you, uh, in your thinking chair real hat real quick, right? Let's see what else it says. Uh, purposely draw a line with the roped wood in the earth in front of you. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. lend me the courage, build power in me. Gratefully. I accept the magic of you, a protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, builds power in me, assist my transcendence so mode it be i don't know i have never heard so mode but it's fine you know this is some type of kind of uh, i would say uh elaborative uh kind of phrase here right you like to relieve people of burdens rather than impose yeah that's what you're you're wondering if you're gonna like if this person comes are they gonna relieve a burden or are they gonna impose one on you i feel like that's what you're doing here you're under no obligation these are the potential meanings saying no empowers you see your demands from another's point of view yeah this is what you are supposed to be kind of doing see your demand from another point person's point of view because we have maintained your childlike spirit and also the dear spirit right bring a gentle touch yeah you're supposed to trust your intuition here sagittarius for some and just kind of like go with the flow here that's what intuition is about like trust it and go with the flow and see what happens see if you're going to like uh if this person's going to relieve a boundary with you or if they're going to impose one on you and that's what she's doing she's trusting her intuition because she's sitting in the forest and she's doing some type of meditation here in order to understand right mm -hmm, interesting so let's see what we have and here you are sagittarius right sitting here the first card i have here is temperance and uh you know you're not doing your job here sagittarius you're here daydreaming and you're holding on to this uh reed kind of uh which always looks like a foxtail a little bit to me but uh you know which is kind of northern hemisphere kind of uh you know uh terrain kind of but here you are looking up in the sky at the butterfly you're wondering if you're gonna have a new beginning and you took a seat here you're like screw this right i'm, I'm not going to keep uh being this perfect angel here <laughs> i'm going to sit down and look here you're wondering if you're going to have this rebirth with somebody and this is yeah 
And uh, let's see what they say about the temperance there because uh, mm -hmm, it's a little bit funny. Yeah, let's see if I can kind of find it quickly. Yeah, here it is. And uh, the angel forgot about her duty. <laughs> oh, God, this is funny to look for me. To... She dipped her, her feet in the spring, in the spring, right? In the little brook there, a little pond, and even dropped one cup completely in the water. <laughs> she's losing her, head, losing her head here. She is enjoying her free time holding a reed. Yeah, and watching a butterfly flying around. She's about to throw away her work and leave it leave it as time goes by. Uh, but this is also a beautiful and natural scene. Uh, yeah, okay. Unlike when she was always nervous and tried to control and make balance. <laughs> she seems to think it is not, it's not that bad to be faithful to her spontaneous feelings. Yeah, that's what you're doing here. You're like wondering if you're going to have this rebirth and if you should kind of just be spontaneous, right? Like, I don't know, it could be one of these things kind of like, well, be nice kind of and just like trust us, be spontaneous. The Knight of Cups is here with it. And, you know, he's, he's sitting backwards, Sagittarius. You guys, you know, as a couple, if this is you and this person, both of you guys are kind of like, you know, uh, kind of very Sagittarian here, right? She says, I'm not following the box here. I'm a little rebel. I'm not, uh, I'm not inside the box, right? I'm thinking outside the box. You're sitting down and, uh, you put your little jars of water down. You did. <laughs> and over here, he's sitting backwards, drinking the cup, right? If this is you, you guys are, uh, like a couple that is kind of a different and unique, unconventional couple on some level that could just mean you were a secret and you're going to get together with this person and, Everybody else could have been saying, oh, you were just their third party or you were just their secret. There could be something here like that in this reading, right? And so let's see what they have to say because you guys both look like you're like uh, just a little bit funny and kind of going against the status quo here, right? Yeah, and Sagittarians tend to do that. Uh, they do. Mm -hmm. A lot of true speakers for Sagittarians. Uh, yeah, it is. Let's see what is, we have here with the Knight of Cups. Let's see what we have. And uh, this is the different Knight of Cups. And uh, the white horse is still is uh, still heading forward. Yeah, but he's sitting backwards, right? It's hilarious. He's looking at you, Sagittarius, right? Mm -hmm. And But the prince is sitting in the opposite direction he is and drinking something from the cup. It, it would be wine. <laughs> These people are like from, uh, I think they're they're in China, but it's funny because, you know, they're, their translation because whoever wrote the uh the deck is funny a little bit right they're trying to be cute here and they are you can't write this stuff unless you have a little bit of kind of humor or you know kind of cuteness uh, about yourself right and then it says uh but the prince is sitting in the opposite direction and drinking uh it's wine he does not want to look forward and does not care about the destination he would finally arrive at it's unclear why he has changed so drastically but it is possible if he was drunk and turned into a different purpose for a moment. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, this is funny. But for me, I feel like what you're doing is that you're wondering here if you're going to have this new beginning with somebody. And you're wondering if they have made some type of a drastic change. I feel like you are. And it's really interesting how you're looking up in the sky and, you know, the, he's facing he's facing you, Right drinking the cup. It is wine. Wow. They got, you can see the red wine in the, in the cup, which is hilarious. Right. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I feel like you're wondering here if you're going to have this rebirth and if there's going to be some type of a drastic change and, you know, it could be what we started the reading with. There could be a death here and both and a transformation. Yeah. <clears throat> and there could be a rebirth in many ways. There's, somebody's changing in this reading. And I feel like it is whoever is trying to return to you. Somebody has changed, right? They went through this drastic change. I feel like they did, right? We have this Knight of Swords. Here he is. He's not the same old Knight of Swords. Uh, he has his sword out ready for fight. But he, he, got off his, he got off his horse, Sagittarius, because he drank too much wine over here, all right? He did. <laughs> uh, if anybody's in an army here, they're like, they're going to get, um, what's it called? Uh, discharged, right? That's hilarious, right? But uh, shoot, nowadays, if you don't uh, believe exactly what they believe in your heart about family and, lo and life, uh, they'll just discharge you. Yeah, and uh, uh, we, we can't talk about that. And please don't make any comments about it. Let's see what it says here. The Knight of Swords takes a militant stance towards somebody in front of him. Yeah, these, 
it's a trip here because <clears throat> with these three cards, somebody, you guys, you and this person are like all standing together here. Yeah, because, you know, judgment's different. The moon's different. The queen of swords is sitting there. And this hangman is by, he's like, you know, he's standing here next to the, uh, next to the, he got off the, uh, the post here, Sagittarius, he did. But, you know, it, with these, they're all standing here, right? He got off his horse. He's kind of, you know, he's sitting, or in other words, it's kind of, it looks like you guys are together here. That's how it really looks. You and this person, even though you're in the pond, he's looking right at you, drinking this cup of wine. Maybe somebody has to get drunk, Sagittarius, to kind of deal with you, right? <laughs> but, you know, like, and I don't mean that you're a pain. I mean that they might be worried about what you, the way you think, or if you want them back. Yeah, because in this reading, there's doubts like on both sides, although I don't have your person's cards. Yeah, because this is today. I've just set your cards down. Uh, let's see what else it says here right? I feel like you're wondering if you're going to have a rebirth and you guys are kind of all positioned right here in the root and in the overall energy and kind of what's challenging this or crossing this, right? Yeah. And so, okay. His eyes are glaring with the fighting spirit as he is defending and attacking at the same time. You're wondering if this person's going to defend and protect the situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe if they're going to come fight with you. <laughs> Two cases can be expected when he steps on the ground and tries to deal with someone. Yeah, the one is when he meets the crisis. It cannot be carried out by riding a horse. And the other is when he wants to get off the horse and fight a duel directly. You, somebody could be ending something, this person. And you could be like kind of wondering here uh, if they are ending something. I feel like you are. We have this high priestess over here. Uh, and you know, she's, uh, not the regular high, I don't think she's the regular high priestess. Let's look at her. She's, you know, rolling out, she's holding the scroll. I feel like she usually is, but no, this is not the regular. Let's see what they say about the, uh, okay. They have this depicted as the regular high priestess. This can talk about a secret lover. You might've been a secret lover, but you could also be here wondering if somebody else is trusting their intuition in order to come forward. This is a big story where I believe somebody went through a transformation in their life and that's changing everything. They went through their own awakening and transformation. Yeah. And so here you are, Sagittarius, once again, uh, showing up as the angel here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could be trying to like uh, repent Sagittarius, right? You could like, please forgive me, God. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Uh, but there's some type of behavior that went on here. I feel like with your person that was kind of, kind of like, they could have like maybe had you as a secret, but they did something here and I can't, I can't see it here in the cards. It's underneath. It's underneath a couple layers here. Uh, and you're wondering if they're going to continue possibly, right? Continue to, I don't know, play games or do something. So we have temperance here. This is what's on your mind. You're wondering if you're going to heal this with this person. I feel like you are right. And let's see what they say, because they don't say the same thing about any of these. No, they don't. It's kind of a trip. Uh, they always kind of have their own, right? their own kind of meanings here. Let's find temperance. Where's temperance at again? Because we have two temperances. Yeah. And uh, an angel is focusing on finding balance by moving water from the cup. Okay. To the other cup. She's unable to make a firm decision to collect water into a single. Okay. This is what you're wor what you are. This is what's on your mind. If this person is making a decision to come forward, you could have went through your own awakening Sagittarius about them you could have made a spiritual transformation yourself where, you know, where you're trusting your own intuition and kind of asking yourself, are they as well? There's a psychic connection between you and somebody here. Yeah. Psychic, not psychotic, psychic, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else it says here. And it says, <clears throat> okay. If the decision is made, she's likely to move somewhere right away using her wings you're concerned here or like are, if they make a decision to come forward that everything's going to change like like that like if they come forward you're going to move in together with them i don't know get married or, or whatever you kind of want here or whatever is you know deep in your little intuition here sagittarius right because you went to sit in the thinking chair after the teacher said told you that and when you went to sit there, you started to drift off, right? And you went through this little transformation in the third grade, sitting in the corner, right? And, uh, and when the teacher said, uh, did you learn anything sitting over there, right, from talking too much? 
yeah, you said, yeah, I learned that, uh, you know, uh, I trust my intuition way more than you do, right? Something like that. Uh, <coughs> that I'm a spiritual being here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we have for that temperance card. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. But she's still in the process of solving the problem. So this is what you're, you're, what's on your mind. If this person is still solving some problem, for me, it's an ending. Some, it's either an ending or a major spiritual transformation on their part, right? Which is an ending as well. I mean, it could be an ending between two other people, but uh, that's an ending because you're no longer, uh, you know, you're no longer like unawakened or on a lower vibration, or not trusting your intuition. Intuition. This is a really spiritual reading here because we see temperance twice, we see the high priestess, we see the hanged man. So, and judgment. Judgment's about a rebirth too. And we start the reading with Scorpio. We have intuition here. I mean, it's major, right? So, you know, this is what's going on. And the moon is here in your environment. So here you are. It's super spiritual here, right? And maybe somebody was drinking too, Sagittarius, because here he is drinking. A, he's drinking this huge cup of wine. Yeah, right? And uh, reminds me of this, you know, I went to have a drink last night at the Salsa Club, and this chick had a, a real bad attitude, right? So she's, she's at the bar, and, uh, you know, I went inside because the outside bar uh, is too full, right? And they don't make drinks like they did uh, before uh, before this all this happened where everybody got ill, no, we, everything's changed now because of it. Yeah, there's less customer service, there's less benefits, or, or there's less everything where you go somewhere now, and they all make this excuse about, uh, uh, they all make an excuse that, you know, if you guys are trusted and knowing what I'm talking about, right? So long story short, though, drinks went up, and uh, drinks uh, went up, and also uh, they're not as good, and they fired everybody who worked over there. Yeah, it's just all, you know, uh, maybe they didn't want to uh, go along with uh, the medicine, if you guys know what I mean, right? But long story short, she's serving the drink, and uh, and so she. It's I ordered a mojito. She didn't put any. Uh, she didn't put any mint in it, and then I forgot what I brought this up for. But she didn't put any mint in it, and then you know, and then she didn't put any alcohol in it, right? Oh, because the, here's here's the the night drinking this huge huge cup of wine. Yeah, if he drinks it, he is going to be drunk, right? Because it's it's a huge chalice, but you know, then she, then <clears throat> I went to pay her and she, she goes, uh, you know, I go, well, I'm trying to walk away here. Here's your money. Right. And so, you know, it was cash. I have to walk away. I can't stand there. So then she had attitude. I go, well, I waited like, I don't know, three minutes or something for her to grab it, but she's, you know, she's overworked or whatever. Then she gets an attitude about that. She goes, well, I'm working here. I'm busy. Well, I'm not giving you this big tip. So I need to change. Right. I got to walk away. I'm not going to stand here all night. Then I told her there wasn't enough alcohol in the drink. It's true. So it tasted like, uh, you know, Kool-Aid or something like, you know, lime flavored Kool-Aid or something. So then she takes the bottle and she dumps it. The, the, the drink is filled to the top, uh, with mostly like, you know, soda. She dumps it on there and it becomes this horrible drink. Yeah. And so, uh, here, and that's, this is, you know, this could have been me last night, Sagittarius, but yeah, <laughs> I feel like you're kind of in this reading though. You're kind of concerned if this person might come forward with attitude, right? That's kind of it, uh, for some, and this is why I brought that, that, that girl up, right? And, you know, she was a real bitch. She was. And so <clears throat> let's see what else we have here. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening, it was somebody in San Francisco. <laughs> let's see what else it says here. <clears throat> At a salsa club, right? It says water also symbolizes a person's emotions, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. <clears throat> and unconscious. This is so uh, spiritual in this reading. Every, almost every card is spiritual here, uh, except maybe the, the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, uh, which is, you know, you're discerning here. So there is more kind of <clears throat> going deep in your subconscious about what's going on, right? There is this discernment. And so let's see what else we have. In the near future is judgment. And this particular judgment, Sagittarius, is uh, these pe the, the angel already blew her horn. She's leaving, right? She said, okay, I went to Sagittarius's house or Sagittarius's person. And I woke this person up from the dead, right? Maybe they have a hangover. And so here's these people and they already, you know, they've already been reborn 
I don't know where they got their clothes already, right? Usually they're naked and they're kind of rising up, but they're already fully dressed and they're walking forward. This talks about a rebirth and never looking back. So in the near future, this person's going to come forward and they're never going to look back. And I feel like this is what you are kind of discerning in this reading, right? We have the hangman on the moon here. And, you know, this could be your person's energies. It could as well. Just so you know, this could be a switched reading. The hangman on the moon here. And, you know, this is, you're kind of, you got off the tree, Sagittarius. Like I said, this is a different deck. And you're no longer hanging here. Uh, but you look very concerned. And this is in your concern, right? Maybe there's a water sign here. It could be a Piscean. We have the King of Cups too. Uh, let's see what they have to say real quick about this hanged man. Uh-huh, because we're, we're, it's too much time here, right? We're getting into too much time. Uh, a man freed from the rope is lost in thought under the tree. So here you are, you know, still, this could be that you are concerned that this person is still thinking about it because one of these cards spoke about in, uh, indecision. I think it's this Knight of Swords. But, you know, uh, this, uh, you know, the hangman here, you're kind of wondering if this person is still stuck in thought or maybe still puzzled about whether or not they're going to come forward Mm hmm because it can talk about doubts yeah maybe uh it is boring because his goal has not been achieved yet but the work was ended sooner than expected maybe you think this person's bored in their own life because for whatever they're this this rebirth that they're coming forward is like this is a life-changing like i feel like this person knows that you are their nine nine of cups fulfillment of wish right here they know that and you know it too and we have the moon here in the environment so, you know, this is like, this talks about cycles changing, especially in this deck. I mean, in every deck, but this deck is kind of more about that. This is in your environment next to the queen of swords. You're wondering if a cycle is going to change, if this person's coming and if everything's going to change. And for some reason, you understand that it, if they show up, things are going to change like that. Like I was saying, right here, you are Sagittarius queen of swords. And you have a mean look on your face, and that's okay, Sagittarius, because my feelings aren't hurt. No, they're not, uh, mm -mm, and people are too worried about, uh, and we're not talking about in relationships, but in the world, they're too worried about, uh, you know, kind of being offended instead of worrying about really what's going on uh, and uh, behind the scenes or what's just what's going on in front of you. Like, wow, that's happening? Whoa, forget my feelings here. Let me be a rational person here and right <clears throat> and think about really what's important so uh so you know i don't wake up tomorrow and the world is a uh, complete dystopia right and so you know but here you are and this is your desire here it here the queen of swords or your hope uh you might be hoping that somebody is really kind of discerning here about how special you are but i feel like what you're doing here is wondering if you're gonna have a new beginning in love with this person here's the king of cups uh, he's holding an even more giant, uh, giant chalice here. Maybe you're wondering if this person's drinking, but you're wondering here if somebody here is kind of standing in their power and love and they're going to come forward and they understand that you're a soulmate. We're going to end this reading, Sagittarius. Uh, we're going to go to the next reading and uh, <clears throat> we are into the extended and we're going to talk all about your person because we're going to have a spread for them right here. And we're going to see how they feel. And we're also, uh, I really want to see it because I don't formally have their cards. We're also going to see what's hidden, like what, what you don't really know about them here. And really interesting in this reading, how you are discerning in, you're either discerning <clears throat> or there's action being taken. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's both because what, what that is, is that you're discerning if, if this is going to take place. And this first card told the whole reading right here. And that's, you know, sometimes how it is here. Scorpio, you're wondering if there's going to be, uh, <clears throat> a death and transformation. And this death is how things used to be with this person. Yeah, this is going to be a major change. And somebody is really like, somebody's sweet on you here. We're going to end this reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. They're all super affordable. I have the link below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.